Hi, Nona here. Welcome to my channel, Nona's here. Today is a different kind of video. I have two parts. One part is a craft, a winter craft, and one part is my Walmart Beauty unboxing. First, I'm going to show you the craft, and then I'm going to do my Walmart unboxing. I will put a timestamp down below so if you're not at all interested in the craft which you should be because my crafts are simple and fun and easy to do but if you're not at all interested in watching the craft you can jump ahead to my walmart beauty unboxing all right so first the craft hello nona here welcome to my channel nona's here i'm nona and welcome to my craft table. Today, we're going to do a winter craft. I'll show you what we're going to need. We're going to need a crate. Everything's from Dollar Tree. A crate like this. Now, let me show you. The crates that are found at Dollar Tree are two different kinds. Some of them have the uh, holes between the slats and some of them are solid. But today we're going to use the ones that have the holes between the slats. So we're gonna need one of those. We're going to need some styrofoam to fit inside. We're going to need some black acrylic paint from Dollar Tree. Of course, we're going to need a paint brush to paint it. I'm going to paint it black. We're going to need, I'm gonna use some tea light candles and these are the kind that change colors. You can use whatever kind you want. I have a knife to cut up the styrofoam. Uh, I have some ribbon that is red with snowflakes on it. I have some stickers that I got uh, after Christmas that were 50% off with snowflakes that I wanna use. I have a big well, not a big, a medium-sized snowflake that I'm going to use. And it has a little silver hanger on it that I'm gonna cut off and use, I think. I have this cute little snowman that I got off of, I don't know, a wrapping or something that I uh, tore off and saved because, you know, you don't throw away anything. I have this little uh, gift tag that was on a gift bag that I used for a, another craft, and I'm gonna try and use it. Uh, I have some dowels that I'm going to use, and uh, I'm gonna show you how I cut those because I don't have a real kind of cutter. Um, of course, you're gonna need some scissors, and I have my brand new glue gun that my kids got me for Christmas. I asked them for, uh, I had a list of tools that I wanted. The glue gun was one of the things. Then these tools were some, uh, was another group of things that I wanted. They came in a pack and I got them for Christmas. All pretty colors, so now I don't have to use grumpy grandpas. I bought myself this, um, this is a piercing and scoring tool set that I got for myself at Dollar Tree for a dollar. And I might be using that. I have some multi-purpose spray glue that I got at Dollar Tree. I have Epsom salts that um, I may be using as snow at, that I got at Dollar Tree. I have some pine cones that I got at Dollar Tree, different sizes, but I may be using some of the baby ones. Uh, let's see, is there anything else? Of course, I have some glue sticks. Oh, I have these letters. These are foam letters that I had in my stash that when my grandkids were little, we used to do crafts, and um, I, ha I just found these the other day, so I may be using them. I have some clips and a, uh, my little paint pan, and of course my finger protector so I don't burn myself. And I think that's it. So what I'm gonna do, oh, I forgot my heat gun that I got. I've never had one of these. 
but um, I thought I'd try it. So I'm gonna use this to um, try and dry my uh, acrylic paint when I paint it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint this black only on the outside. And then I'm gonna cut my styrofoam to fit inside and then I am, uh, will be right back. So don't go away. All right, I'm back. I have painted my crate and it turned out I did have to paint the inside when I looked at it. I put my styrofoam in and I wanted it to be down really low so that the first slat you'd be able to see through. So what I did was, when after I put it in, I took my scissors and I really crushed it down real hard. Okay, but I may have to build up some places. I took two dowels and painted them black. And don't worry about the ends because those are the ends that are gonna go down into the styrofoam. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my, uh, Snowflake, I'm gonna cut off that little string. I thought I was gonna use it, but I don't think I can. So I'm just gonna cut it off and I'm gonna glue my uh, snowflake onto my dowel just by putting hot glue. Come on, glue gun. I know you're hot because you came out before. There you go. Oh, sugar. I went someplace else where I didn't want it to go, but that's all right. Right there. Okay, I'm going to hold that while it dries and get the strings off. All right, I'm going to set that in the back, like right there. Okay, I don't know, that may be too high. I may have to cut my dowel down in just a minute. Come on, hold on there. All right, still hot. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to cut that dowel down, I can tell. And then I'm gonna glue my snowman onto the other dowel. Ow! Doggone it. Okay, so he's glued on. all these strings hanging out. Doggone, that hurt. Let me make a hole. And I'm gonna put some glue down in that hole. I don't know, some people must have the strongest fingertips that that hot glue doesn't bother them. Okay, so I have my snowman in and I have my snowflake in. All right, now then I wanna put this little guy in. I should have painted another dowel. Okay, I'll be back. I'm going to paint another dowel, and then I'm going to come back and think about how I'm going to decorate the rest of it. All right, I'm back. So, I have painted my dowel, my little dowel, and this little penguin guy had a hole at the top because it came off of a gift bag. So, I just put a little, I had this uh, thing, a little doohickey, so I put one of the green ones up there. So now I'm going to glue the uh, gift tag onto the little dowel. And I have to tell you that 
uh, heat gun really works. It really does. It dries everything really quickly because you know acrylic glue does not uh, glue really, does not dry really quickly. So, okay. So now I have my penguin on a stick. Now I want to stick him in here. in front of the snowflake, like that. So now I wanna put in some of these baby pine cones, but you won't see them because the uh, styrofoam is so low. And there's grumpy grandpa back from the store making a lot of noise. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take some pieces of styrofoam and glue them in so you can see the baby pine cones, just like whenever you're setting a real formal table and you like to do different um, heights of things. Well, that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna take pieces of styrofoam and glue them in to different places on the low styrofoam and then put uh, the baby pine cones on top of them so that you can see the pine cones because they're gonna be down so low that otherwise you're not gonna be able to see them. So that's what I'm doing. Alrighty, so what did I do? I put winter fun using those foam letters on the front. My little penguins here. I put some snowflakes on his hat and around there. I put the baby pine cones in and you can see in there I have, I used the first spray glue and then I dumped Epsom salts in there to cover all the styrofoam. And then I took the tea light, the LED tea light that changes colors. And let me tell you, I had to dig a hole in the snow to make a hole for the tea light. Okay? And there he is. And you can see some of my Pine cones have snow on it, and my little penguin there had got some spray glue on it, and it has snow on it. So I think it came out really cute. There he is. Winter fun. That's it. Okay, and tonight I'll take a picture of it um, in the dark, where you can really see the tea light changing colors. That's it. See, wasn't that cute and wasn't that easy? All right, now on to my Walmart Beauty Box unboxing. This is for winter. And um, I get it, it's a seasonal box. Get it four times a year. It's $5, it's supposed to, it's free, but you pay only for the shipping, which is $5. You know, there's all kinds of subscription box unboxings. Uh, we all know about, I think the very first kind of subscription box I ever got a hundred years ago was uh, books. 
and we all know about food subscription boxes and there's clothing uh, subscription boxes and there's men's subscription boxes, ties and socks and of course there's cosmetic uh, subscription boxes that I get, Ipsy and uh, BoxyCharm and Birchbox. I get Ipsy and uh, BoxyCharms and I just posted some of those so you need to go back and watch those if you haven't seen those. And there's ones for lingerie and for socks and for perfume and for hair products and jewelry. And they range everywhere from $5 to thousands of dollars. Uh, there's crafts, there's things for kids, books, science, educational things. Uh, there's just thousands of different kinds of subscription boxes. So if you've never looked into it, some of them are really fun and different and they're not all real expensive. So there are just lots of co different kinds of subscription boxes that you can get, regardless of what your interests are. So this is my Walmart box, and I'm gonna, oh, I took the cellophane wrapping off, and this is what it looks like. It's a pretty simple, uh, no frills uh, box, and the card on the front says Walmart Beauty, and you open it up, and the weather outside might be frightful, but our selection of super hydrating skincare and more is so delightful. So it lists some of the things that you can get in your subscription box. And it says, then there's a thing, did you like it? Did you love it? Scan here with your smartphone camera and take a quick survey for a chance to win a $100 Walmart gift card. You know, it is getting, it is, has been cold and we really need to be hydrating our skin. Too often we just think of taking care of our face and maybe our hands, but we need to be taking care of our whole body. Uh, a week and a half ago, I went to Houston because my sweet, sweet daughter-in-law, uh, they are expecting their first baby and it's a grand girl. I'm so excited, I get to buy pink. We have three wonderful grandsons and they are wonderful and handsome and intelligent and just great but this is our first granddaughter and i am so excited and i am buying everything i can find in pink and it's just great so i went back to houston for a couple days for a shower and i wasn't taking real good care of putting all kinds of hydrating things on my face and on my body and when I got home, I noticed my legs were just all scaly and ugly. So I am back to doing my lotion after every shower and on my feet because we really need to take good care and we need to do more than just our uh, chin up. We need to do everything. So uh, just a little hint, you need to be doing your uh, skin care for all over your body. All right, so what's the first thing I pull out? And these are called My Bites. Never heard of them before. These are guilt-free chocolatey vitamins, yum. Hmm, okay. And you get a little, get a couple packs of them. My Bites multivitamins, chocolatey multivitamins, only 25 calories. Okay, I might try those. I do take different kinds of things, so that's okay. Let's see, another thing I got here is Bio Oil Dry Skin Gel, Specialist Dry Skin Formulation. That's just a sample. Save this and put it on my feet because my heels have gotten really dry. I was so good about putting on lotion on my feet every night and then putting uh clean socks on to keep my feet and heels uh, nice and hydrated. Next thing, and I've gotten this before, a set of feel deep hydration, healthy glow daily cream. It's just a small sample. I'll probably put it away for when we travel and I don't forget to use it. You know, when you go away, you're so busy running and gunning. Okay, this is Degree Advanced Protection Dry Spray Confidence Jasmine and Apple. It smells, I bet that smells good. I won't use it because I have to use, oh, and there it came apart. It smells good. Um, the little 
sprayer thing came apart. Um, I have to use a certain I have to use certain kinds of uh, brands of uh, deodorant because I had breast cancer, and so the doctor recommends that I use a certain kind. But I know someone, one of my nieces, will like that, and I'll just give it to them for an extra. Okay, let's see what else I got. Number seven, I like number seven. That's a brand name, Advanced Retinol. Night Concentrate Skin Transforming Accelerator, Retinol. Lines look smoother, skin tone looks firmer, skin appears firm and listed, lifted, skin appears brighter and more radiant, pores and textures look refined. Okay, let's see what this looks like. I have a little butter knife here to open it up. Oh, I see. Just a little tiny sample. That's all you get for your five dollars is little samples, but you can find out whether you like things or not. Night concentrate. Okay, there's that. You know, that's enough for one or two tries. See if you like it. Night concentrate. That's nice. Okay. And then the last thing is hard candy. Now that's a brand name. 12 hour long wear setting spray. Now I do use a setting spray when, um, after I put on my makeup, I always use a setting spray. Let's open this up and see what it's like. I've never used hard candy setting spray. You do see hard candy sometimes at Dollar Tree and everybody's always excited to see hard candy makeup at Dollar Tree because it's more expensive. It's one of the more expensive brands that Dollar Tree carries. Sheer Envy Setting Spray. Fade resistant, fights humidity, cucumber extract, 12 hour wear hydration. Uh, makeup setting spray. I wanted to make sure it was makeup and not hairspray. Okay, so let's see. It'd be better if I sprayed it this way. It, it smells like cucumber. I was going to hold it up so you could smell it. It smells like cucumber. I like the smell of cucumber. Um, I always use the setting spray after I put on makeup. Now, here's a tip. When you put on your makeup, if you use a setting spray, um, when you put it on, I always put mine on before I put on my mascara. Because as much as I tell myself, Nona, don't blink, Nona, don't blink, Nona, don't blink, I blink. So I always put on my setting spray before I put on my mascara. But when you put it on, you want to see the spray is pretty fine. See how fine the spray is. But close your eyes, because I do have my eye makeup on, just not my uh, mascara. And do a resting face. Don't make a frown, don't smile, don't frown. Just have a resting face when you put on your setting spray. That's it. And keep your resting face until the setting spray dries. That's a nice setting spray. It's, it's a real light fragrance, okay? The reason why you don't want to frown or smile or have anything but your resting face, no expression, is because you don't want your makeup to go into those creases, okay? You want the setting spray to go on the canvas of your face without making any frown lines, smile lines, anything like that. And let's face it, I've got enough lines. I don't need to add any lines when I put on my setting spray. I do like this. That's a, I mean, that alone is worth $5 as far as I'm concerned. So I give this Walmart beauty box a five out of five. I mean, come on, for $5 for the shipping, it is well worth it. So an unusual video today with a craft and an unboxing. I hope you enjoy it enjoyed it, please remember to subscribe and to 
comment, like, and share. Remember, I post every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And thanks for visiting. I hope to see you again. And remember to be kind to everyone because there's a lot of crazies out there.